This one. One of these days, I'm going to ask him how much it is. It's probably a couple hundred. So, oh, look at this couch. <laughs> uh, I'm at the GTC Rock Shop in Frederick, Maryland. Been here before, and I did a video about a year ago. I always hit the glass. But, uh, do another one just kind of a quick walk through um, show you some stuff I didn't show you before it's a really impressive place you've got some really great stuff Let me try the bite I just can't help it I love all things old I am NOT a geologist but uh, it's an interest of mine Oh, there's a really cool display over here. Check this out. This is really great. You've got things made of uranium up there, which I assume are antique. You've got some stuff from mines here. You've got a bunch of glass slag. Slag is a kind of a, a casual name for um, residual stuff that they find at foundries. I often find some in the woods. Look, there's the canary in the coal mine. Look, there's an oil lamp. It's only about three, four inches high um, with the stem. So I guess that went in their helmets. That's really neat. Calab, no, calcanthite on copper. Jeez, that's a, that's a tough one. Really, really neat. Oh, here's a blasting machine. Look at that. How cool is that? Let me do a quick tour here. I'm going to breeze by some of the stuff. Um, they've got uh, tons of goodies that are um, carved over here. A bunch of mushrooms and stuff. These are really pretty. These are amethyst trees. Uh, looks like they go for about 20 bucks and a little more for the big ones. These are really beautiful. These are really beautiful. I didn't notice this last time I was here. Pretty neat. Got a big long row of geodes here. You guys know what these look like. Someone put eyes on that. Really, really great place. So, I mean, this is a um, obviously a hobbyist store. There's lots of stuff that you can buy. Um, you know, that is polished, cut, whatever, ready to go. But they also have rough materials. Uh, I'll show you. Down on the bottom, they've got rough materials. So, if you polish yourself you can pick up rough stuff here as well and they've got a they've got lots of it they've got lots of everything I gotta do this just real quick everybody loves amethyst bow how cool is that they have tons of it very big pieces these pieces in the back what I'm looking at is uh, almost two feet tall and almost three feet wide. Just beautiful. All right, let me take you to the rest of the store. They just have a bunch of rows. Um, ooh, that's pretty. So I came here originally because I had to get the niece and nephew something for their birthday. 
they've liked my little presence of rocks that I find them in the creek. So I figured I'd stop here and uh, pick them up some pretty polished ones. These are nice. They, I mean, they have everything here. Anything made of stone, carved, polished that you can imagine. And all kinds of assortments. This is Hidden Night from Brazil. So these are obviously very small pieces that are probably never found in large quantity. And they've got a lot of this stuff here. Lab grown bismuth from Germany. Oh, that's what that stuff is beautiful. Can you, yeah, there we go. Can you see? That stuff is really neat. <laughs> Some skulls. Yeah, people like that kind of stuff. And then, oh, not quite to it. Spheres, globes. I mean, some people like these. These are pretty. These eggs. Stuff's a little pricey, but it's hard to find. There are only a couple rock shops in Maryland that are worth anything. This is, of course, certainly one of them, probably my favorite. Look at the, this is the stuff that was up front. Oh, calcite, orange calcite. Look at it, it looks like it's wet. Looks like wet butter. How cool is that? Bunch of obsidian. So I got them a couple pawfuls of cat eye and stuff like that. And then of course I, uh, I got a little handful of uh, colored obsidian for myself. Oh, this is neat. Bumblebee Jasper from Indonesia. The reason why I love geology so much is because it tells a story. It's just like history. It's just like reading up on the Civil War. The clues are different. Yeah, you need a little bit of science. I, I really take issue with Friends and with uh, the Big Bang Theory and every other show on, on TV that has ever put geology down and called it not a true science because it is absolutely a true science. You need some chemistry, physics, stuff like that to really get a good grasp, uh, grasp on it. These are neat. Snowflake obsidian. I love that stuff. So here's some of the stuff that I picked up. Let me see if I can show you. These are beautiful. They have like little mini universes in them. But it's going to be real hard to see. Uh, that one's kind of clear. Hang on. Hang on. Let me try. Let me try this one. Put it against the white background. Look at that. They have like clouds, like little universes inside them. It's so neat. And then I got them a big paw of this stuff. A couple paws of this stuff. By the way, it's not cheap. Look at this. So I just dropped like 80 bucks on rocks. But uh, more than half of that is for my niece and nephew. So really, really cool store. If you're in Frederick, even if you're not into this thing, I mean, it's certainly worth coming in here and taking a look. And uh, who knows, you might just find something that you like, walk out with, purchase, I shouldn't say walk out with. <laughs> really cool store. Oh, Labradite. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. How cool is that? Alright, oh, 10 minutes, dear God. And here's some jewelry. Awesome store. Hey guys, thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Have Thanks a good one. Take care. Will do. Alright guys, that's it. See you on the next one.